You may remember from our last episode that we had a wonderful time at Little Harbor. It truly is a beautiful place to anchor. First mate managed to get some snorkeling in. We relaxed and we enjoyed the views. We used the skiff to motor around some of the rocks and small coves so that first mate could snorkel those areas. She had a great time. She was able to experience the underwater beauty. Next time we anchor there, we'll have found our waterproof case for the GoPro and she'll get some footage. Our time at Little Harbor had come to an end. We had about four days left, so we decided we would motor the short distance to Cat Harbor and anchor there for the rest of our time at the island. Cat Harbor is so calm and would be a pleasant ending before we had to sail the six hours back to the mainland. We were running a bit low on drinking water and we wanted to buy a few supplies. So off we went back to Cat. Okay folks, well it is Thursday, July something or other. It's day, um, this is the fifth day of our trip. And we just spent two really, really good nights in Little Harbor. Uh, and we are gonna head back over to Cat Harbor now to get back in some internet so that it can do a blog post or two. And uh, first mate can see if her kids are still alive and well. So we are motoring back over from Little Harbor, the 2.78 nautical miles, back to Cat Harbor over here. And we're gonna go ahead and drop anchor, go ashore, hang out, run around for a little bit, and then I've got some boat projects I'm gonna do. So, there you have it. Talk to you later. Once back at Cat Harbor, we took the skiff to shore. We met back up with Alex, who had stayed anchored at Cat, so we offered to take him to shore too. We were surprised at how full that the Ismuth was on the other side. We thought it would have been emptied by now because this was the weekend after 4th of July, but not so. Catalina Island is really popular. And this being summer season, people sail out here a lot. In the past, we've done a lot of sailing to Catalina during the off season, the fall and winter months. During the off season, the anchorages and moorings are a lot emptier. There are a lot fewer people at the island too. We sometimes prefer that to the hustle and bustle of summer. back to Cat Harbor and took the skiff back to the boat. The skiff is a really important thing for your adventures. It's always important to secure them to your boat so that they don't wander off or somebody doesn't wander off with them. Speaking of skiffs disappearing, it was funny to watch the last episode of Delos where their skiff had broken free and was floating away before they spotted it with their binoculars. We awakened Friday morning to find that our skiff had been tied to the boat but was missing. We panicked. First mate was almost in tears. We spent a lot of money when we bought the skiff in the outboard just a few years ago, so this hit us hard. We had decided to take the kayak ashore and report our stolen skiff to the authorities. When on a whim, I got out the binoculars and started scanning around the shores. It turned out our skiff had come free from the cleats that she was tied to and had floated off towards the other side of the anchorage. Somebody had found her and tied her to a mooring ball, so there she sat. We kayaked over to the skiff and brought her home. What a relief we found her. Still, there's no such thing as a bad day at the island, unless you wake up in the morning to find your skiff really is missing. Trying to get up. Kind of 
Yeah, he's picking up speed. He's well, he's hitting waves too. But yeah. And then he levels out for a little bit to pick up speed, and then he can get up and go up. Yeah, he's picking That's up speed. That's very cool, isn't it? It is. Yeah, I'll get to sit here. 